Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the first director Q and A okay. session of twenty one Taiwan Studies Summer School. Uh, I'm Dr. Zhang Biyu, uh, the deputy director of the Center of Taiwan Study. Uh, it is our great pleasure to welcome director Yang Yazhe, one of the most popular and active directors in Taiwan today. So may I ask you all to turn on your microphone and give him a big round of applause. Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so uh, allow me uh, uh, to use a few minutes to introduce him before we kick off the Q&A session. Last week, we screened three of his feature films, Old Boy, Zhong Nanhai, Girlfriend, Boyfriend, 女朋友男朋友, Elise to Paradise, Wei Zhang Tiantang, and two episodes of his most recent and highly acclaimed television series, The Magician on the Skywalk, Tian Tiao Shang de Mo Shu Shi. Yang Yazhe is a director as well as a writer. His background, we can say, is very colorful and has worked on different jobs during his college years, in which the experiences have become his inspiration in writing as well as filmmaking. He has worked on various mediums, ranging from documentaries, stage plays, short films, TV dramas, and full-length uh, feature films. The screening last week shows several of his most important works. Among them, the recent release uh, TV series, The Magician on the Skywalk, shows a, an increasing maturity in terms of his aesthetic, style, and critical worldview. This series is an adaptation of Wu Mingyi's novel of the same name and deals with memory, adolescent uh, fantasy, and Taiwan's social changes. So to catch the essence of the period, the recreation of the Zhonghua shopping mall brings the audience back to Taipei in the 1980s. Yang Yazhe really is a master of storytelling who conveys a magical touch uh, with animation, fantasy, and folklore. Before we start the Q&A session, I would like to, as always, thank our funders, the Ministry of Culture, the Cultural Division at the TRO in the UK, and also the Taiwan Film and Audiovisual Institute for their support. Without their generous funding and backing, it would not have been possible to launch such an ambitious project. So lastly, I will quickly remind you a few housekeeping rules. First, please be aware um, this is a recorded session. Secondly, uh, please post your uh, questions. Uh, we have mentioned about this. Uh, probably you guys are different group of people um, using the conversation slash chat function. You will find the speech bubble icon at the top of the screen. So type your uh, question there. And also please make sure you only ask uh, one question at a time. Don't you know add on too many and keep them brief and succinct. Our as assistant curator Xiao Yi and project manager Jewel will collate the questions and present them to the director. This will be translated by Josh Adbrook, sorry Josh, our interpreter. So um, without you know, dragging on to talk about all the rules, may I uh, start off the, the Q&A session with two questions, and I want ask one at a time. So the first question I will ask in Chinese. Okay, uh, Yang Dao, I will ask the first question. Okay, the first question is that you have used a lot of different kinds of languages, and some romantic romantic fantasy fantasy elements. In my reading of many of your interviews, you often talk about your childhood experiences. 还有你的生活历程，深深的影响你的作品，是不是可以请你稍稍阐述一下那
那些生活经验也好，这种童年的记忆也好，对你的冲击呃是什么？还有他们怎么样影响你的创作？呃，没，也许可以用天桥来做例子来解释一下这个怎么样运用哈。那我现在问英文，不好意思啊。Uh, you have used a lot of interesting、uh, elements in your work, such as Taiwanese folklore, animation, and dreamlike fantasy. In many of your interviews, you mentioned about your own experience of growing up and and uh, 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 working experience. How I wonder how、um, those experiences. Has enriched and inspired your filmmaking and script writing process. Could you reflect on what kind of life experience impacted on your filmmaking, why they are important, and how they are used in your films? 谢谢，麻烦。呃，有有有一个英文叫做 "You are what you eat"， 是我很小的时候学到的，然后到我长大。到我长大，慢慢明白，真的就是童年或者是你的人生经验里面学到什么，就会出现在你的作品里面。那我的童年，其实在上国中之前，就国小六年，这这这段时间是我小时候最快乐的时候。呃，读了很多童话书，然后看了很多，呃，生活大人的生活故事。所以这影响影响我的故事很多。好，谢谢谢谢导演。So Yang、uh, Yangzhe, director Yang Yangzhe was、uh, explaining how when he was young, he he learned a phrase of English which was "You are what you eat," and、uh, he was suggesting that as he's grown up, actually he started to understand that it's true in terms of life experience. So、uh, from、um, kind of a young age up to Uh, the sixth year of elementary school in Taiwan. That that phase of life growing up, that was his happiest phase of life. And it's at that time when he would read lots of stories, particularly fantasy stories, fairy tales,、uh, and he's found that that、um, that kind of positive experience, that that happiness, has influenced the work that he's created later on. So, uh. 我小的时候读的那些书对我帮助很大。呃，我的确像《囧男孩子》电影里面的男孩子一样，我小学的时候，呃，有一阵子就是班上都必须在图书馆服务其他的同学这样，所以我们那时候读了很多书，然后那我觉得给我很大的养分，因为你知道台湾。上了国中以后，读的都是垃圾、没有用的东西，所以我最有用的书大概是国小的时候到大学，呃，到大读大学的时候这段时间是最有用的东西。嗯、uh, ，So director Yang was in、uh, elementary school. He was saying actually quite similar to the film ORZ Boys.、Um, He was often spending time in the library,、uh, helping out and、uh, and helping out classmates and things like that. So he he read a lot of books during that time, and actually those is saying were the most helpful in terms of、uh, actually learning and influencing and inspiring his his imagination.、Uh, and actually later on was was、uh, he was saying generally rubbish <laughs> in in higher school. Because it was all just information and 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 information for ex exams, and it you know it didn't didn't inspire his imagination in the same way that、uh, in elementary school those books that he read did. Okay. So my my works actually are all related to my childhood influences. After reading books, there is a pen pen. 所以影响我的作品里面常会出现我小时候的回忆。So director Yang's、uh, memories from childhood they often they come back and reappear in the films that he creates, the the, the movies that he creates.、Uh, because later on he was saying, you know, memories are just studying and then nothing else. <coughs> yes,、yeah. 大概就这样吧。我的回答，第一个问题。Okay, 
Thank you. Um, oh, 第二个问题，呃，我 again 我要用中文来问啊。那个呃，这个因为正如我们这一呃这一次的电影系列，呃，台湾后新潮电影，呃，主要思考的是新浪潮之后的台湾电影发展。那你作为台湾中生代的电影导演代表之一，你认为你的作品有没有受到他们的影响与启发？如果有的话，是什么样的影响？那你又认为说，在这个世代里头，你们这个世代这中生代的导演里头，与他们新浪潮电影导演有什么样最大的不同？啊、uh, ，OK， 啊、uh, ，I'll ask the、uh, English one. As the、uh, title of the series suggests, we aim to examine Taiwan's cinematic development of the last thirty years. As one of the younger generation directors, would you say that you are influenced by the new wave auteurs in some way or another? What is the biggest difference between your generation and theirs? 谢谢导演。哦，我我是 younger generation， 不是 middle age。算是有一点，是算是 OK。Uncle age。呃、uh, <笑>，你刚刚讲那个新浪潮，我的答案是肯定的。嗯、呃，在我第一次可以自己一个人很勇敢的搭巴士到比较呃市中心 downtown 里面看电影，看的就是新浪潮的电影。然后呃，我觉得那时候对一个小孩子来讲，其实快要国中了，快要读中学了，呃，是一件很勇敢的事。但也就是从那一刻开始，我就喜欢上所谓真正的呃台湾本土产的电影。那部电影叫《搭错车》。<笑> OK。Director Yang was、uh, responding to the question, saying that for him, actually, of course. He has been influenced a lot by the Taiwan New Wave cinema, and the example he gave was actually the first time that he was old enough and brave enough to to take a bus by himself into the city centre to go and watch a movie.、Uh, was to to see one of the New Wave films, and in Chinese it's called Da Torture,、uh, taking the wrong bus.、Uh, but he didn't take the wrong bus; he got the right bus and watched the movie. Yeah.、Uh, so so that that's kind of a.、Um, You know, an example of how、uh, the new wave cinema has has been an influence on him from a young age. Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay. Actually, 那时候台湾呃最受欢迎的是美国好莱坞电影，然后再是香港电影、日本电影。那最不受欢迎的是台湾电影。可是，一直到我读大学的时候，其实我都没有想过要要拍电影为生。可是，不知道为什么，我就会是选择台湾电影或者是欧洲电影作为我的呃休闲的休闲的一种嗜好。我我我常去一家电影院，它是专门播欧洲电影的，或者是台湾电影的。我可以完全不知道。那一天演什么片就直接买票进去，因为我我会相信，呃，那家电影院播的电电影都是好看。So、uh, director Yang was saying then that、uh, when he was younger, probably up until around about the time he was in university, the most popular、uh, films in Taiwan were American Hollywood movies,、um, Japanese. Movies,、uh, and what was the other one? Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong, Hong Kong films.、Uh, so Hollywood, Japanese, Hong Kong films, and actually the Taiwanese films were not what people would usually choose to go and see.、Um, but for him, actually, it, it was different.、Uh, for his leisure time, there was a particular cinema that would always show either European or, or Taiwanese films, and.、Um, And director Yang was saying that he found that actually that that became a place for him where he didn't even need to know which film was playing.、Uh, he would happily go and buy a ticket and and just you know see what was on because he knew that it would be it would be good. You know, it would be something that he would enjoy.、Uh, 
Um, so he also mentioned that up until kind of almost after university, he hadn't even considered becoming a full time director. Uh, but I think that was that was a process afterwards. So I later analyzed myself why I have this kind of watching movies. I found that I like to have a personal connection between human beings and human relationships. It's not a dream of fantasy, but I have to have enough faith in it to believe it is true so that I can enter that dream world. 所以，呃，新浪台湾新浪潮电影最讲究的就是人和人之间的情感必须是真实的，所以这影响我很多，在我日后工作的时候说故事的方式，我要我我得要相信事情是真的才能才能做。Director Yan says that for him, as he analyzed what why what it was that really attracted him about. The films that he was watching, what what he liked about the movies that he saw,、um, he was saying the key point was the relationships between people. That it has to be real, it has to be believable,、um, and it, it, it's like it, you can almost put yourself in the shoes of of the, the people in the movie, and and、uh, it, it's not just over the top.、Um, and so one of the things in Taiwan Taiwanese new wave cinema. That they were extremely good at was representing those those very real、uh, connections between people, the emotional connection between people,、uh, and describing those relationships in a very down to earth kind of way. So for some、uh, for for director Yang, that's really influenced his own work.、Uh, that that when he wants when, when he's shooting the movies, what he really wants to portray is the. The, the kind of the, the reality of the relationship and the connection between people, so the audience can can feel a sense of understanding and、um, I guess empathy and also reality to it. That it's it, you know it's not somewhere off in the clouds, but it's it's actually it can move somebody because it feels like almost their own life being being put on screen. Hmm. So, um, like. 新浪潮电影里面的蔡明亮导演，或者是侯孝贤的导演，他们的作品，因为的他们的感情都是很真实的，所以影响我很大。那当然，包括我后来读大学的时候，在看呃，在电影电影系的时候，呃，老师推荐的一些欧洲电影，像肯洛屈，肯那个英国导演肯洛屈。或者是欧洲的一些导演，他们的感情都比较接近我的审美观，所以我会非常想走这个路线。So Yang Daoyan was saying there that,、uh, again, reiterating it's that reality of the relationships between people in movies and、uh, in the Taiwanese new wave. The two directors you mentioned, Hou Hou Xiaoxian and. and Um, Tsai Mingliang. Tsai Mingliang.、Uh, that, that they were very good at that. They were very good at portraying those、uh, the emotional connection between people in a very real way.、Uh, and director Yang said also then、um, after after a while his his teacher also pointed him in the direction of some European movies that were similar in style in the way they portrayed you know real relationships.、Uh, so there was a British director called Ken、uh, Rochu. Ken Ken Roach, Ken Roach, Ken Roach, Ken Roach, Ken Roach, yeah, cool.、Uh, and so, so yes, so that's had a big impact on his own his own filmmaking. Oh, 还没有答完哦。啊，没有答完吗？不是已经答完了？有啊，就是就是新浪潮对我的影响。对对对，我是对对对，还有就是说。你呃，你觉得他们那个世代的人跟你们有什么不同？就是环境也好，题材也好，风格也好。I'm actually chasing a, a director young to ask him to further elaborate on、uh, his reflection about the differences between two generations in terms of styles, uh, uh, subject matters and、uh, environment. Um. 其实，如果是我小时候的那个，在我出生之前的台湾电影
是非常蓬勃发展、非常商业化的，可以卖到亚洲很多地方。可是就在我差不多读国小的时候，就是因为哦、呃，台湾电影过度商业化，而且而且不太真实，所以慢慢的就被自己本土的观众呃讨厌了。那这时候，侯孝贤导演他们就开始了新浪潮，去追寻一个比较接近 fine art 的那一种电影的东西、嗯。但是那个 fine art 就很少人看，但他们的电影我就觉得是纯粹的作者论的，属于作者的电影。我们这一代导演，嗯、呃，因为从台湾国片的最低点。要重新再再开始，所以我们会比呃上一代的人想办法追求观众的注意，嗯、这样嗯比较商业一点。我们啦，嗯，谢谢。So so in terms of um in terms of the difference between the new wave cinema uh and and the movies from director Yang and and other uh directors of his generation. Um, he was just painting a picture of the at the time of the the, the Taiwanese new wave or pre new wave, I should say. Uh, Taiwanese films had been very successful throughout Asia uh, and were, were, were popular, but because they became over commercialized, gradually that popularity started to decline because people could, it was unbelievable, uh, and it was at that point that. Um, He was saying Hou Xiaoxian and, and other directors from the New Wave um, group, what they started to make was much more like fine art movies. So not necessarily so so popular, not mainstream, um, but they were very much shooting what they wanted. Now for his generation, for director Yang's generation, he was saying um, they've almost had to start from the very the very bottom where Taiwanese cinema hasn't been popular. Uh, and they've had to be very creative in balancing making something that they want, something that they believe in, but being able to attract audiences back to to watching Taiwanese movies again. So, uh, so there may be some commercial elements in the movies, but um, but not overdoing it and and trying to get that balance of creativity uh, to to bring the audience back, but keep it true to what he's trying to make. Mm. 所以，所以有回答到这个问题。Thank you， 谢谢。<笑> OK， maybe、um, we should let them rest a bit. So， um， Xiao Yi， would you like to come forth and and ask the question？ Thank you.、Uh, yes， sure、uh,。I think， 呃、uh, ，我会有一些观众，我会把他们的问题呃点、uh, 出来。那有一位呃、uh, 观众就是问。呃，您您的电影是不是全部都有在台湾上映，或者是呃，或者有 ，is is it exclusively online or in movie theaters？ 有没有一些是只有在网上播放的？我想没有，没有，没有，全部都可以。呃，可能呃，台湾没有 censor， 在我大学之后 ，censor 的制度就废掉。所以，所以我的作品很幸运，不太需要被被审查，所以都都有在台湾播放。呃 ，Director Yang just replying there, he was he was saying that actually none his movies in terms of censorship,、uh, by the time he got to to、uh, university, actually censorship in in Taiwan was.、Uh, Well, there wasn't、it、kind of it faded out, as it were.、Um, so he's been able to to produce basically whatever he wants without worrying about bits being cut out or or bits being banned.、Uh, maybe I just remind everyone that、uh, after Shao Yi asking the Chinese question, let her also、uh, repeat the English one. Okay, okay. 不好意思啊，那个杨导，因为那个时候马上问就马上就答。我忘忘记了，忘记了，忘记了。<laughs> Okay, okay. Um, maybe the second one. Um, Xiao Yi. Yeah. Uh, 那这个问题是关于
导演，您如何看待自己的作品，让国外观众认识台湾？ Uh, I think so. Um, uh, so Nick is asking how um, director Yang um, regards his own um, films and how how he uh, um, how he lets uh, foreign audiences um, know Taiwan through his films. Thank you. Hmm. Uh. 对于外国人、外国观众、外国朋友认识的很少，所以我的电影大概一开始都只有想到怎么跟台湾人自己介绍，怎么认识自己，因为台湾是一个很特别的地方，看英呃看好莱坞电影的人会远远多过看台湾片的，大概至少多十倍。所以我的电影出发大概都是先向我们自己的观众介绍。那如果要跟外国人沟通的话，我认为最好的方式就是先有自信认识我们自己。那也许外外国观众就会有兴趣来认识我们。So for this this question, um, director Yang was was saying that actually he he hasn't really thought too much about how his movies will Uh, how how I guess foreigners or people outside Taiwan will um, relate to or understand his movies. Actually, his starting point was much more thinking uh, for 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 Taiwanese. How can we understand ourselves? And so by by kind of looking at and examining ourselves, understanding ourselves, perhaps actually that's the best way to for for foreigners to understand us and who we are in our our island here. 不过我有的时候为了研究不同的国家的人的的对于爱情的看法，比如说好了，我我会去听他们的情歌。哦，原来日本人对爱情的想法是这样，英国人对爱情的想法是这样。然后从电影里面知道，呃，每一个国家不同的人对于爱情的观点是什么。我。我我不敢讲说我我我做的电影能够销售全世界啊，不过有时候跟从呃电影或音乐的媒介去认识其他的国家也是一个有趣的事情。然后有时候作品也就会因为这些电影、这些音乐有一点改变，呃，不会局限在台湾人的观点。我的做法。So the, so the, the flip side of of what. What Director Yang was saying previously was that actually he he, he will go、uh, on purpose to listen to music from other countries to watch films from other countries and for example to、uh, I guess research through that medium how for example Japanese、uh, in their love songs how do they talk about love and relationships or or in in English love songs how do they see it and how is it different、um, and through music. Or, or, or through foreign movies, actually, young young、uh, director Yang was saying that that will actually, of course, influence then what he creates as well. So,、um, so while he's saying, you know, he he、uh, can't say that necessarily his films could be popular all over the world, but actually there are elements in those movies of、um, of of him being in, as a director being influenced by.、Uh, You know, different cultures, different countries, different ways of life, which I think make do make the movies accessible to a foreign audience. So,、um, so while while the starting point might be for Taiwanese to understand themselves, there there are elements in his work which are very much accessible to to foreign audiences as well. And actually, one thing I missed out from his previous answer was he was saying in Taiwan,、um, the audience for Hollywood movies is at least ten times the audience for. Uh, Taiwanese movies. So again, that's a motivation for for wanting to 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 kind of、uh, let let Taiwanese know themselves through their own movies as well, and and not just constantly watching、uh, American Hollywood. 呃，除非有一天，如果外国的、欧洲的公司或者是美国的公司找我去拍片，我可能就会。很努力的去比较一下外国观众的
喜好或者是文化上面的不同啊。比方说，我觉得最有趣的台湾片跟呃欧美片最不一样，亚洲片，亚洲片的眼泪非常的多。欧洲片或美国片的眼泪是非常节制的，所以我以为外国人都不会哭，但其实应该不是这样。So one day, one day if a, if a, a European or an American company coming in, uh, hold on, got some static on the line. Okay, there's some a uh, noise in this. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, directly, Yang was saying one day, if a European or an American film company came to him and wanted him to make a movie for a foreign audience in particular, then yes, he would definitely, uh, you know, research what it is that different audiences from different countries and cultures uh, like and also need to see in in a film to to, to be able to enjoy it. Um, and as an example. It, He, he mentioned uh, one of the big differences that, that he thinks is obvious between Taiwanese or maybe Asian films and American or European films is the amount of tears. So in Asian films, there are a lot of tears uh, and emotion is expressed a lot through tears, whereas in American and European films, um, there's not nearly as much. Uh, and, you know, if there are tears, it's for a very serious moment. Uh, So he was saying he thought, therefore, that that uh, we in the West don't cry. <laughs> Americans <laughs> and Europeans don't cry very much. Um, but but he said I don't think that's not the reality. But in terms of how emotion are portrayed in in movies, then that's the way it's different. Fantastic, Xiao Yi. Okay. Uh, 或者我先念一下这位观众的问题。Uh, uh, in the magician on the skywalk, you pay tribute to who dust in the wind. Um, can you elaborate more on why you selected that particular segment in dust in the wind? Uh, 他说在呃、uh, 天桥上的魔术师呃、uh, 里面有对那个胡孝贤的恋恋风尘的致敬。那他想知道你为什么会选择那一段的，就是恋恋风尘里面那一段的。的镜头，嗯嗯嗯，呃，其实我们，我，哎，他是不是要先翻译？对不起，哦，哎，他已经念过英文哦，哦，对不起，呃，因为我们在做这个改编的时候，算是一个很很很大的工程，然后，呃，原著小说的后记里面，原著小说作者也有写到说。里面他小说里面出现的一个老人角色是真真实实的存在的，然后也在呃恋呃侯孝贤的《恋恋风尘》（Dust in the Wind） 这部电影里面有被拍到，那我就觉得这是一个呃大家共同的回忆吧。然后而且《Dust in the Wind》在我青少年时期是很红的一呃我很喜欢的一部电影。所以我就把它放在一个很重要的地位里面，因为原著里面也有提到这部电影。呃、uh, ，So director Yang was was talking about、uh, a particular part in、uh, the Magician on the Skywalk, this series, where they're、uh, referring to a, a movie from from Ho Xiaoxian. Called called Dust in the Wind, which which was like uh, uh, that that film back in the the, the New Wave era was it? He was saying it's like a collective memory for the audience. So actually having that in in the series is like um,、uh, a piece of reality, I guess, in in this series, a part of the the history of Taiwan at that time. Ah, and I don't know if you if you if you have something to add there. I've missed. No, 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 no. Um, um, carry on first. Okay. Sorry. 呃，所以我我在那个，尤其那个《天桥上的魔术师》的小说里面有提到，呃，一个呃年轻一个男孩子在当兵的时候枪杀了他的女友
，然后这个这个剧情其实，在《恋恋风尘》的这部电影的编剧是他的真实故事，就是说他在年轻的时候，吴念真先生他在年轻的时候也曾经在军中被兵变，就是被女当兵的时候被女孩子抛弃这样子，所以。这这是一种巧合啦，就是这两个故事都是一样的，所以我特别把《恋恋风尘》拉到这个剧本，呃，这个剧集里面变成一个很重要的骨干，这样。Okay, so, uh, in in the the uh the book of Medition on the Skywalk, then there's there's a a part which mentions a Um, a, a conscripted, a boy, a boy who's been conscripted into the, the military service, a compulsory military service, who、uh, he he kills his girlfriend、uh, because she's abandoned him.、Um, and in the film,、um, dust, dust in, in the, the wind. Dust in the wind. In the wind.、Uh, there's there's also a part about、uh, a, a a boy who's who's in the military service who's. Uh, abandoned by his girlfriend, and it's,、uh, so Director Yang he, he kind of wanted to put those two parts together into his his、uh, adapted series. I think I think that's that's right. Bu, is there anything anything to add to that? To that? I think you you probably because the previous、uh, session that that he did mention about uh, 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 Wu Mingyi's. Uh, uh, You know, wrote about a particular character, and uh, uh, that's why he put in his、um, film,、uh, TV series. But never mind, it is the past. Sorry,、um, Shao Yi. The next question is from Stafford, so I'm wondering if if he'd like to ask himself, or should like me to just say it out. Um, yeah, I can I can come in, um, um, and, and actually、uh, my question、uh, kind of overlaps quite a bit with John John Tihan's one, but I'll I'll I'll,、um, uh, I'll save my one first. So so first of all, I wanted to say that we、uh, we use your film Girlfriend Boyfriend quite a lot here for teaching about Taiwan politics from particularly the late martial law era through until、uh, the nineteen ninety.、Uh, so our students love the. That film, but I was curious about, and it's something that B you touched upon in her early question about your personal experiences. So I was wondering if you could comment、um, on whether, for example, the clash between the military instructor and the students,、uh, and also the wild lily、uh, scenes, was something that you'd personally、uh, experienced. I was just curious about about that. Uh, yep.、Yeah, uh, hey, uh, Shelley, do you mind if I、uh, have a try on that one? Yeah. Okay. Um, we in in the London Yafei Student Teaching School, we just we often use your film, especially for the girlfriend and boyfriend. Um, uh, especially to talk this uh, uh, Jian Shi to Nationalism this period. Then our students very much like this this film, let let them can understand this this process. But I was a little curious. Um, you yourself. 是不是亲眼看过这些这些冲突？比如说跟教官、学生跟教官的冲突，还有这个野百合的，我我不知道这个是不是你自己当时有参与，然后才会想拍这一段。嗯，呃，我我我生活的这个时代，我是一九七一年出生的，然后在我呃读高中的时候。呃，台湾才解除戒严，那个马修洛才停止。我觉得，呃，在在呃以前戒严的年代的生活，跟我青少年突然自由了，那种感觉会让我非常的记忆深刻，一直到现在。我可能很多呃英国朋友或者是台湾的年年轻观众不知道那样被压抑的生活是什么。所以我很想告诉他们，现在自由真的是很很可贵，所以会特别喜欢在这个电影里面呃放这些东西。一一本到天桥上魔术师，我还是这么做
today. Director Yang saying then in response to this question, uh, he was born in 1971. And so it was when he was in uh, senior high school in Taiwan, it's, it'd be sixth form here, I think, um, that that was when martial law ended in Taiwan. So that transition from being so strictly controlled through you know, pretty much all aspects of life to suddenly being free uh, and particularly that that freedom coming you know through the, the teenage years in the teenage years um, is something that has made a, a really deep life impression on director Yang and so therefore he's saying that's he, he wants to portray that in his work and and has done all the way up to his his latest series the edition on the skywalk because um, it's something that certainly for us in in the, the West, it, it's quite hard to understand because we've never lived through that kind of repression. Uh, and in fact, Director Yang said, even for young Taiwanese, they don't know about it either. So he wants to portray um, a sense of uh, gratitude for that freedom that actually don't take the freedom we have now for granted. Uh, and that's an element that, that comes through in his work. No, Thank uh, you. Thank um, I think because Dr. Zhang Tihan also has a similar question, like uh, Zafet said. Um, so uh, she's asking, uh, so she's also been teaching the, the film Girlfriend, Boyfriend for the last few years, and it really helped the students to understand the context of Taiwan's um, democratic expression. Uh, would, would Director Yang in the future uh, consider to film more subjects on social movements? For instance, the sunflower movement or the LGBT movement in Taiwan. Um, what do you think that you've already done enough on those subjects, uh, and and you would like to move away from it? Uh,那这位呃，就是呃呃，教授他也是把就是用女朋友、男朋友当做教材，那就是可以他他觉得真的可以帮助学生了解台湾的那个民主进程。那你覺得你會不會將來拍更多關於那個社會運動的題材那比如說那個太陽花或者是那個同志運動那或者是你覺得你已經拍的夠多了可以不用再拍了謝謝我我拍的不夠多我還想繼續拍相關的主題但我的
就是招召集这些年轻的演员，或者是怎么怎么指导这些呃小朋友去演戏？对，谢谢。呃，我特别喜欢，我特别喜欢年轻的演员跟小孩子，他们演戏的经验不多。那也就意味着他们更真实。那我唯一的工作就是相信他们，然后把他们的真实找出来。我觉得观众就会被打动。So in terms of trying to get the best out of、uh, young actors, particularly children, actually, Director Yang says he loves working with children,、um, partly because they don't have much experience. And and so he was saying, as a director, then his role is just to to find that that、uh, kind of kind of let the reality out for them, to to believe in them, and to let them just express themselves in in the most real way that they can,、uh, and and actually that will be what what moves an audience. But I also, uh, for a while, also with a very experienced Hong Kong actor, is that kind of acting for thirty years. 的演员工作，他们又会让我对于电影有或者是表演有更大的不同的认识，所以呃有时候新的演员会让我很开心，然后但是有经验的演员也会把这个电影的艺术把把我带到另外一个新的领域去。So the other um the other angle that he's saying is having worked with Some very experienced actors, even some from from Hong Kong, with you know 30 years' experience in the film industry,、uh, is a totally different kind of,、uh, I guess, opening his mind to to, to creativity and on a different level. So whereas、uh, working with very young actors or with inexperienced actors with children,、um, you know that's that's something which he he loves the creativity involved with that and the kind of.、Um, So, so few restrictions.、Uh, but, but on the other, the other hand, working with experienced actors opens up a whole new world of how to,、uh, how to act and how to really display,、um, to show different kinds of、um, moods, feelings, emotions in, in, in different ways. It's kind of that, that sense of really being able to,、uh, to, to be our shen. To to act in a, in a very、uh, different kind of ways to fit different kind of themes and and moments. 嗯，我最后补充一下，就是如果外国观众要懂他，嗯、呃，我我我会很希望有一天啊，可以找到像演那个的 Crown 那个女王那么有经验的导演跟一个 Teenager 没演过戏的，把把他摆在同一个戏里面。那我会觉得那一定会非常有趣，因为一个可能演了四十年，一个可能从来没演过戏，但这两种人放在一起的时候，一定会非常好看。So one of director Yang's,、uh, I guess, dreams or, or goals, as,、uh, as you, you could say, would be to take、uh, an extremely experienced actor or actress.、Uh, his example was the, the actress from The Crown, who you know may have. That, you know, an actor or actress with 30 or 40 years' experience, and put them together with a teenager who's who's got no experience whatsoever, and and see how that kind of chemistry works out. You know, the the kind of the the top top of the scene with someone totally fresh, and and see what happens. That's that's something that he would love to do in a in a in a work in one of his movies later on. Okay, next question. Uh, so next question is:、um, Some researchers suggested that there's a tendency in post new wave cinema, which is new localism.、Um, how does director Yang think of this observation in his work, whether he has this intention or not? Uh, 就是有一些学者就是觉得在后经典里面，就是有一种呃新本土主义的冒起。那你觉得这？是不是这看法是不是恰当？那就是你会不会在你的作品里面有没有这种意识？谢谢嗯，呃，我想，我想，呃，侯孝贤导演他们的作品的确是很本土化的。
。那我我们这一代呃中生代中年人的电影，其实也是很本土化，但只是因为侯孝贤导演他们的年纪，他们经历的那个台湾的经验跟我们的不同，我们是更更受美国、欧洲、日本影响。一代，所以我们产生的作品的样貌就会不同。但尽管如此，我我觉得还，呃，做电影的话都不是模仿别人，而是我们吸收了这些日本的、美国的、欧洲的，然后长出我们自己想要的故事，而不是去模仿。模仿的话，可能效果也不好。Uh, so on, on the topic of new localism, Director Yang was saying that the, the new wave directors, Hou Xiaoxian and, and that generation, were extremely localized in, in terms of their portrayal of, of, of Taiwan.、Um, for Director Yang's generation, he's saying that they're actually they're still fairly localized in terms of、um, you know, portraying Taiwan and what it's, what it's like. But the difference is that Uh, from his generation, they've been a lot more influenced by、uh, whether it's America, whether it's Japan,、uh, whether it's Europe. And、uh, it's not that they, they, they're not imitating that, but it's about、um, the, the, what influences you, the, the work, the creativity, the, the, the culture that influences you, naturally comes out when you go to, to create the work that you want. So while Director Yang and his generation, he would say, well, you know, we make the movies that we want to make. We're not trying to imitate anyone because the, the, if you just imitate, what you can come out with is, is not a good thing. But, but none of those different things、uh, which differentiate between the, 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 you could say, the new wave and the, the post new wave, if you like. Um, thank you,、uh, Director Yang.、Uh, I think、uh, the next question is posed from Hao Li.、Um, uh, how do you overcome the challenges of representing the past in the rapidly changing Taiwan? Or,、uh, for example, the lo logistics of location scouting, props, and so on. That he is asking how do you overcome the challenges? 困难在呃在在呈现呃过去的时候，因为呃就是台湾过去几十年来变化非常的迅速，那在呈现过去的时候，呃有没有遇到一些困难？就是比如说在呃就是拍摄地点啊，或者是道具啊等等的方面。我我我觉得只要有钱的话，可以可以解决很多的事情。像像像像 The Crown 那个要呈现伊丽莎白女王年轻的时候，一九三零四零年代都不是问题，只要有钱都可以办得到。但在台湾最大的一个问题是，我们甚至丧失了语言，就是说，如果我找年轻的演员。他要他要讲国语，呃 ，Mandarin， 或者是演讲台湾历史更糟糕，就是台湾话的话，呃，年轻的演员甚至没有办法讲出呃标准的台语，更何况属于那个时代的口音的台语更难。我不知道英国的那个英文在一九五零年代跟现在的口音有没有差别，但是。在台湾，光是叫年轻演员讲好台词，用台语讲出来都很困难。这是我觉得语言反而是最难的一件事。嗯，哦。So in answer to this question,、uh, Director Yang was saying actually, in terms of the look of things, in terms of you know backgrounds and scenery and props,、uh, as long as you've got money, you can solve any of those problems. Actually, that's that's not too hard.、Uh, like For example, the crown. He said, "You know, they've 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 got the budget. They can recreate、uh, the the Queen Elizabeth of the 1930s and 40s and and the UK of that that scene."、Um, but in Taiwan, the challenge he's found the greatest challenge has been、uh, language, and in particular, 
trying to find young actors now who are able to not just speak Mandarin, but also speak Taiwanese dialect and with the accent and the vocabulary of, uh, you know, the, a previous generation is really difficult. Um, and so actually that's been a huge challenge to be able to, to, to find young actors and actresses who, because the, the accent is different, even if they can speak the, the, the Taiwanese language very fluently and, and the vocabulary is slightly different. So often that is a, a huge challenge on set is, you know, trying to get the language and the accent right to make it believable that it really is of that generation. Uh. 那可以進入下一個問題了。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝謝。謝
。但呃，因为这种混混合的文化，所以呃，有某一些故事可以很容易的卖到亚洲其他的地方，或者是国外让别人了解，不太有文化上面的隔阂。可是台湾的历，呃，蛮久，我们先把优点讲完好了，先到这边，这样教学不会太累。<笑> so in terms of、um, the advantages or the 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 kind of the positive points about Taiwanese cinema, particularly on the world stage, um, Director Yang was pointing out that Taiwan is a place which mixes lots of cultures and lots of influences. So, uh, you have the majority of of The population will trace their ancestors to mainland China, different parts of mainland China,、uh, who have moved across at different points through history. But you also have Aboriginal Taiwanese as well. Plus, you have a period of 50 years of、uh, colonial Japanese rule. And then also, you could you would say you can also argue that、um, Taiwan has almost been occupied by American culture.、Uh, For for a time, so there's you've got this whole massive mixture of different parts of 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 the world, all in this small melting pot.、Uh, so in that sense, there are stories that Taiwan can tell in cinema,、uh, which don't have such a cultural gap. So in terms of selling to to other countries in in Asia or wherever, actually there's a lot of their own culture which is already in the story,、uh, just because Taiwan is a place that. That has been influenced by so many other parts of the world. So, in terms of a, a plus point, that's a plus point that you know it's a it's a big melting pot, and that builds bridges, that creates connections with other countries.、Um, so the stories then are, are not so removed, and, and other people can relate to them quite easily. Yeah, but the uh, 比较劣势的地方就是因为现在资金很多，钱比较多，钱比较多。就会产品需要比较多，而且也要比较快，所以现在呃，我觉得呃，模仿别人或者是呃，学习别人的，比如说鬼片，呃，学泰国的鬼片，或者什么，嗯，学泰国的鬼片之类的。Hey, Sorry, hold on. Ah,、uh, Haruna. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry. Yes, please. Ah.、Uh, 请继续，不好意思。好，呃，比较呃呃有劣势的地方，就是因为钱太多，所以要生产很多，就会开始模仿别人。那模仿的东西就不会有它的价值存在。这是我觉得，呃，好像又回到了某个某个工厂式的制作这种电影的时候。可是那样反而会失去自己的特色，慢慢。Josh， 哦、oh, ，sorry， had a slight lag then。Um， so Director Yang was was saying then， um， one of the problems is that with more money in the industry， uh， then you have to create more stuff， uh， you have to Bring out more, more regularly, and the the downside of that is it ends up with、um, essentially copying.、Uh, so, so one area that you were saying was it, it's not so good. It's just copying other people's styles or or mediums. So, for example, copying、uh, Thai horror films or something. Actually, as you start to copy, then you just you lose your own、uh, you lose your own elements and you lose your own creativity, and it, it's it's not.、Um, Kind of, you, you lose your your speciality in that sense, and it just becomes commercial and for for marketing sake. Hmm. I do that. Okay. Uh, next question is oh, Ting Ting Ting. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, I'm curious about the phenomenon of the convergence of film and TV series production in the era of. Streaming media and like like Netflix.、Uh, could you please talk a little bit more about that? And do you think it would be a trend for Taiwanese filmmakers? Uh, oh, Ting Ting is our former friend. Also, there is a professor of Dan Shui University. Uh, that he wants to ask. 
，呃，蛋酱，不好意思，<笑>呃，就是呃，现这最近几年，就是像 Netflix 这种呃媒体会带来那一种呃，就是融合文化的出现，就是电影跟呃电视剧的制作，就是整个都变得那个过程越来越融合。那你可不可以多讲一点？关于这个现象，那还有你会觉得这个会成为呃台湾电影工作者的一个趋势？对，谢谢。呃，以以我对几家 OTG 平台的认识，呃<咳> ，Netflix 的制作可能是呃最有钱的，但是相对的，它的要求可能会。比起其他的 O T T 平台，它更有它的主呃，它的目标，比如说，它可能会需要在第一集里面就要有一个很很很劲爆的开始，呃，或者是很很暴力，或者是有关于性的东西。我我我想这是它它的平台的属性。那这是。呃，有有很好的资金是一个优势，可是呃，这个 O T G 平台它对于戏剧的偏好，其实也会影响呃呃制作电影的人的方向。那我我我自己比较喜欢看呃其他欧欧陆平台的戏啊，像 B B C 的戏这样，它。他们对于那个，我我不太知道他们对于呃电影制作人员的那个要求，或者是会不会比 Netflix 少？对，但是至少我知道 Netflix 是有一套规范，那它也会影响未来大家对于戏剧的品味跟认知。嗯。So in answer to the question about、uh, new streaming platforms and and the emergence of Netflix and others,、um, Director Yang was saying that you know taking Netflix as an example, their、um, the, the 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 plus point is that their budgets are the biggest. They have the most money. They're the, they're essentially the richest platform.、Uh, so in that sense, you have more. You have a higher production budget. You can. Make high quality content,、um, but that comes with strings attached in terms of、uh, the the content of what you're shooting. So you might need to have particular violence or sex in, in what you're making in order to make it、uh, to, to to be able to get onto the platform because that's what the audience supposedly want to see.、Um, so Director Yang was saying actually what he worries about that is that you know that. Then those those restrictions, I guess, on what has to, has to be in,、uh, in whether it's series or films, will will influence the creativity of directors down the line.、Uh, and he prefers, he was saying, other、um, less less restricted、uh, productions, for example, from the BBC that that won't necessarily have、uh, the the same kind of boundaries that that Netflix would impose.、Um, So, so his his concern is is just that、uh, these popular platforms, they're they're popular because they 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 adhere to to very clever marketing methods, but actually that does stifle creativity, or it can it can lead to creativity being stifled. Actually, if you're a subscriber of many platforms, you can compare HBO and Netflix. 或者是其他的亚马逊的平台，或者是韩国的，你就会发现，呃，每一个平台有一个不同的属性，然后某一些平台它的它的剧的方式都很类似的时候，你你就知道它那个平台可能有有有一些呃给制作人员的一些指引，或者是说限制吧。我觉得那是那那会是比较呃不健康的。嗯。
So in terms of looking at different platforms, whether it's Netflix or HBO or Amazon um, or, or, or others, uh, Director Yang saying actually just by watching the content that is is exclusive to those platforms, you can start to figure out uh, what it is <laughs> that that these platforms require to be included in the content that they that they produce. And um, and from his perspective, it's it's not really very healthy for for creativity when you you restrict access to your platform based on the content of of the the you know the series or the films or the, the productions like that. Uh, it, it's a bit it's, it's where commercialism is then limiting creativity. So, 以前我们是被政治在审查我们的作品 ，censor 我们的作品。现在是被钱在检查我们的作品。So previously, censorship came from the government, uh, and and you know if the government wanted to cut things, then they would they would do it. But now, actually, restrictions and censorship comes from money instead, and from. from Director Yang's perspective, that's you know that's that, that's something to be careful of, uh, and to I guess create a to, 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 to avoid those restrictions. That's no way. That art is just like that. Old artists, musicians, are all for the king. Otherwise, they're for the rich people. At the moment, we still don't find another way to say that. 制作一个作品不需要服务任何人，我没办法。对。啊，但但 anyway， that's that's the reality。So、uh, from from ancient times， directly、yeah, saying artists， painters， musicians， they had to、uh, serve the interests of the king or of the rich nobility， and and through till the present day， <laughs> creators still have to、uh,。To, to to serve the wealthy in that sense, whether it's whether whether the wealthy now are Amazon or Netflix or HBO or whatever. At the moment, there isn't another way of just being creative and still being able to make money. Well, now it's very good. Ah, online, there are many opportunities. Online, you can make your own videos and tell your own stories without needing a lot of money. 这也是一种进步。Yeah, as a as a flip side to to that, actually,、um, the internet, the age of the internet, has opened up opportunities to be able to to create and 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 publish, as it were, or share without needing, you know, sky high budgets, production budgets.、Um, so, so the flip side of what he was saying before is that you know, there there are opportunities to be able to create what you want, what you believe in, and to share it without needing. You know the budget for a movie for a blockbuster. Uh, I think next question is from Max. Would you like to, would you like to say it yourself? Or, um, um, so he's Sorry, asking. Sorry, I can't. I... Right,、okay. do 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 you want me to do it? Please, thank you. Right, yeah, no problem. Uh, uh. So、uh, Max is asking, and、um, so given the challenges you mentioned of language proficiency, would you consider using people outside of Taiwan who can speak、uh, or are studying Taiwanese and Mandarin whose accent and vocabulary may be able may be able to match the setting of your story, and、um, given the range of learning resources or influences across eras they have used.、Uh, 他想问，就是刚才你有讲过，就是关于那个语言的障碍，就是很多现在年轻人可能就是台语讲的不太标准。那你会不会考？就是你会不会用一些呃不是台湾的人来讲台语或者是国语，呃，来符合你那个电影里面的情节或者是设定？不是台湾的人来演台语。嗯，就是 I think 就是已经就是是比如像惠英红那样。哦
，如果如果比如说我找了一个香港演员，但他的呃国语或者是台语并不好的话，我不会去把他设定成台湾 local 的人，本本地人，我会照着他原来的呃设定，因为我觉得那个太太不舒服了，就是。好像如果就英国人来看，找了一个美国人来演一个很英国的角色，可能英国人也会过不去吧。英国人一听也会觉得受不了吧？我不知道，可能我我我如果找了一个日本演员，那我就会设定成他是呃在台湾的日本人，或者是曾经有只会讲日文的台湾人。之类的，让他不会那么奇怪。Uh, Director Yang was saying in answer to this question about about language and about、um, uh, nationality that actually if if there's an actor or actress, for example, from coming from Hong Kong,、uh, he won't want them to pretend that they're a local Taiwanese.、Uh, he would actually, or if they came from Japan, he wouldn't want them to pretend. That they are local Taiwanese. Actually, the, he would、uh, use their background as part of the, the story, so that this character then is,、uh, you know, is is from Hong Kong in Taiwan or is from Japan in Taiwan, and therefore it makes it more believable. They don't have to.、Uh, he would say it, it would be very difficult. There'd be a lot of pressure,、uh, and it it probably wouldn't come out very realistic、uh, if you're trying to force someone to to be what they're not. Uh, particularly in in that sense of language and trying to pretend that your mother tongue is is a mother tongue that it isn't. 哎，那我也有问题要问外国朋友。<笑>既然这样子的话，就是我当然知道那个美国的演员很厉害，就是他们可以仿仿模仿英国口音。可是你们英国观众真的？会，他们有厉害到你们英国人都觉得，哇，我都看不出来，哦，我我觉得他好棒，他就是英国人，真真的就不会有那个感觉吗？因为如果是比方说中国的演员，中国大陆的演员来演台湾的人，你要说他是一个 local 的台湾人，我们大概有，大概可能还是有两层三层可以感觉到。那个不同，那我不晓得是不是那个好莱坞的演员已经厉害到演英国人，英国人看不出来这样。So Director Yang is asking us as the audience a question:、uh, whether we,、uh, if a, if a Hollywood actor, he knows that you say I know Hollywood actors are the top professionals, but if you have an American pretending to be British, for example,、uh, can we really tell the difference? Can we make out that actually they're faking it,、uh, or are they so good already that that you know we don't、uh, we you know we're persuaded by that accent? So the example that he gave was that if somebody from mainland China is acting as a local Taiwanese, there's there's probably twenty or thirty percent of the audience in Taiwan who would recognise.、Mm, I don't think they've got it quite right there.、Uh, so he's asking, is it the same for us? You know, if an American acts as a British. Can we tell the difference, or are they so good that we don't that we don't know, notice?、Mm. So, so, so give your answers now. You think the most famous American actor to play English actor is who? Who is playing well? So, as an example, who is playing well? 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 Who is playing 我我觉得口音已经是最简单，对演员来讲已经是最简单的一件事。但美国人的气质跟英国人的气质，那个小动作上会有会有很大的不同。我觉得那个好像在演演技上面是最困难，气质。So obviously,、uh, accent is the most obvious part, and Director Yang says, you know, that's. That's like the the starting point. You've got to get the accent right. But、uh, but even if you're American acting as British and you've got a good accent, how about the just the style, the way the the actor carries themselves? 
is it persuasive and you know does it match British or not? 可是那个就是其实他是英国人然后他演美国人就是Kate Winslet在那个最近的那个对对对Mayor of East Town的演出 就是很多人就觉得他演美国人都演得很到位嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯而且他演中年女人演得很到位 没有，他演那个南方的口音也演得到位。嗯，然后还有有也有观众说他们看听得出来，就是听得出来会不一样。然后还有Emma Stone 跟 Gillian Anderson。嗯。Body language, uh, Meryl Streep. Uh, uh, Renee, I can never get, I can never pronounce her name. <laughs> like, Rich, like Renee uh, from Bridget Jones. Oh, okay. Also, Nicole Kidman. Hi. If, to answer Director Yang's question, I know as well. Um, some of the some of the failures uh, have been when not necessarily trying to do British accents, but when either Americans or Australians try to do Irish or Scottish accents, then um, then it often doesn't quite doesn't quite work. Uh, so, 我, 我觉得可能很多演员, 美国演员, 他们如果说一个标准的英国讲, 其实做得还蛮好, 但是更困难是做那种苏格兰讲, 或是爱尔兰讲, oh. 就, 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 他好像口音一直从英格兰就变成苏格兰就变成英格兰有点混在一起混在一起对就是表演上面最困难的一件事即便一个日本人他的中国话国语讲得普通话讲得很好可是你还是会从很小很小的地方发现他是日本人，因为比方说他特别的客气，或者是他不知道我们这边的人都比较粗鲁，那他可能就会被发现他是日本人。我觉得这是一个很对于演员很高难度的事情。As an example of the the challenge of you know acting as a as a different nationality. Uh, director Yang was saying, for example, even if a Japanese actor or actress, if they're, they're, they're Chinese, their Mandarin is perfect. But you can still find out that you can still you can still kind of uh, discover their true nature because, for example, they might be just that over bit too polite, uh, not 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 rude enough, <laughs> not direct enough uh, in the way they they speak or the way they carry themselves. So he's saying, you know, that that's the biggest challenge for for actors is uh, how not just to get the the language, the accent right, but to get that, I guess, the body language and those just those natural habits that belong to a certain culture, a certain location. To get those right is you know that's the the top level. Xiao Yi, can we go back to the questions? Um. Yeah. Sure. So are uh, you? Thank you. Um. 有一位观众的问题是你刚刚有提到制片上比方说某些题材的电影会比较不容易拿到资金就是比方说你刚刚有提到社会运动题材的电影那也有讲说就是如果只要有钱就可以解决很多那个拍摄上的问题那就想问一
筹资的过程大概怎么样？还有那个在完成的作品里面有没有遇到过资金和创作理念上的冲突？嗯、um, ，So Director Yang has mentioned that there's certain、uh, kind of topics or subjects、um, that are less likely to get the the funds and investment. So、uh, is um so what was Uh, his process of、um, getting investment、um, in his past work, and what and did he ever encounter any conflict between、um, the money and his own、um, his own create creative process? Thank you. Uh, I was more early work. At that time, I was just starting to get into it. 所以，呃，如果钱是来自于公共电视 PTS 或者是国家的钱的话，就会有一些老人，呃，还是会暗示你的作品应该要怎么样。那我们，我我我那那二三十年前的状况，有点像现在，呃呃，中国导演或者是年轻一代的香港导演要逃避审查的时候。要做很多脑力激荡去去逃过那些事，以前比较像这样。那呃，先让夏旭翻译这样。Okay. Um. So in terms of uh, when Director Yang first started making making movies, uh, it it was just fairly soon after the end of martial law in Taiwan. So. There was still a sense of particularly whether if the funding was coming from government sources like、um, the CTS, the、uh, national television station,、um, or、uh, just just from that that kind of older generation who would suggest that your content should have this, this, and this in it, or it should not have this, this, and this in.、Uh, a, a bit like so, in terms of trying to get around. Censorship in that way, that you had to think very carefully how you were going to portray、uh, the the content of your story. A bit like you were saying, the the young Hong Kong directors now, or perhaps、um, uh, directors in mainland China,、uh, the way they have to think quite carefully about censorship and therefore how to portray the you know the story without it being cut. <coughs> 呃，如果是最近的话，我就完全没有没有资金上面的困扰。呃，是因为呃我的监制他会把所有的投资者关在外面，然后他会过滤他们的意见，所以我不需要面对投资者告诉我这些问题，我只要面对我的监制就好。但是我监制是一个相当邪恶的。Director Yang saying his、uh, his his editor is it or、oh, producer producer、uh, producer the 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 producer will、uh, essentially be a filter between the sponsors、uh, or, or the funders and and himself. So he doesn't as a director then he doesn't need to constantly be thinking about what the sponsors want or what they require.、Uh, he, he just has to、uh, come to terms with. With his、uh, stubbornness, I guess his own、uh, what it is that that he makes sure that he he、uh, meets his own standards、uh, without having to take it into account any other. And is dealing with himself and his own requirements, his own standards, his own、uh, goals for what he's trying to make. But it sounds like a good producer to me. <笑>那因为我们是从呃很很小的资金开始做电影，我们是穷人家的小孩，所以不会去要很贵的玩具。呃、但是如果玩到呃像天桥上的魔术师，它就是一个很大的制作，以台湾来讲，但是也是会钱不够。所以这时候就要有各种方法去去得到你想要同样的
效果。我觉得审查跟钱是我们这个时代永远在面对的问题，要不面对审查，要不就面对钱。那都是要动脑筋，世界上没有不动脑筋就可以得到的东西啊。但是你如果可以不花那么多钱得到一样好的效果，我觉得那个成就感也很大。So in terms of、um, production, actually making what you want to make,、uh, Director Yang says, you know, you you're either going to come up against censorship. Or you're going to come up against funding.、Uh, you, you know, you can't escape from either one of those things. So, uh, 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 and so, for example, for him、uh, shooting his most recent work, the Mission on the Skywalk, he, yes, he says we have come up against、uh, a lack of budget. So then, in that case, you have to think about well, how can we? How can we create the same effect, the same visual effect that we want, without using such an expensive method to to film it or to to produce it?、Uh, and actually, the sense of success and achievement that、uh, that that he gets when when it works, you know, when when he manages to come up with a different solution, which gets around the budget requirement, but actually comes up with the same result,、uh, is 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 really satisfying. 有时候我我最后想补充一下，有时候呃太有钱，你会寻找最简单的解决方法。但是当你真的没有没有足够的钱去做到那样的时候，你偶尔会得到更有更好的东西，因为你动脑筋，会得到更有哲学思考、更有意境的东西，不一定要靠花钱才可得到。Uh, so even to take that to the extreme, sometimes having too big a budget is actually limiting,、uh, because Director Yang was saying if you if you have all the money you need, then you just use the most the, the simplest methods to solve whichever problem you come up against.、Uh, you know we've got the money, okay, we'll just spend the money,、uh, and yet when you don't have the money, you've got budget budgetary restrictions. Actually, sometimes that can push you. To use to to think creatively in a way that you wouldn't have otherwise, and you might therefore come up with something that is、um, a bit more special,、uh, a little bit more unique,、uh, and a little bit cleverer than than if you you know you just have them throwing the money at it. Sometimes, when you have money, it will make you forget about what you really wanted to do. But when you don't have money, you may have to go back to the beginning of the story. 这个人，这个角色，心里面想要什么，想做什么，然后可以靠演员的演技或者是动作来达成那个目标。我觉得在美，在棒的特效或者是场景，都不如一个演员最动人的表演。Sometimes when you've got that budget, you know, you've got the big budget, and you just rely on the special effects. Uh, and and the, the kind of the the big stuff, the the money to do it to tell the story. Actually, you lose some of the 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 life in the in the film itself. So, Director Yang was saying, actually, all, all the budget you want can't replace that. Just going back to the characters,、uh, the, the the people, what it is that the character is trying to portray. What it is about that particular story that's going to move people, and then how then are you going to、um, use and maybe an actor's expression or a particular movement or or just a particular shot,、uh, which can communicate the same thing as a whole load of special effects that that costs a whole load lot more money,、uh, and actually it's it's sometimes it's in those details and in those very human details. That you get more out of the actor and you、uh, move the audience in a deeper way. Ah,、uh, 好，那我读一下下一个问题。Um, so in the magician on the skywalk, how how do you manage the integration of fantasy and reality so that the boundaries between them become blurred? Uh, 在天桥上的魔术师，呃，你是怎么样把那个
呃现实还有那个魔幻元素之间的界限，把它打破。对，谢谢。嗯，世界上最接近魔幻这件事情的时候，是童年的时候。我们越大越越。年纪越大越不相信魔魔幻，所以有一个比较简单的方法，也很困难啦、啊。现在我五十岁了，我就要想办法让我变成十岁或者是八岁小孩子的脑袋，去去考虑他们相信什么，他们喜欢什么。因为你只要用小孩子的方式思思考。那你让他们做出来的动作，就会让观众相信，哦，这是真的，因为每个人都有童年。我觉得最简单进入魔法，就是用小孩子的脑袋去想事情，十岁小孩子的脑袋去想事情。So the key, the key to that, the key to to that merging of fantasy and reality, uh, is entering into the mind of a child. So Director Yang was saying, actually, it's children who are closest to fantasy. And as we get older,、um, we we don't, you know, we we get fixated on reality. We don't believe in fantasy.、Uh, so, in, as a director, you know, he was saying, I'm 50 years old, and the challenge for me is to put my mind into an eight-year-old or a ten-year-old child and try to see things through their eyes and their perspective and imagine how they would imagine. Actually, that.、Uh, That's that's the best way to to portray fantasy, kind of that merging of fantasy and reality is through the eyes, through the mind of a of a an eight or a ten year old child. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if Bi Yu has any question. Ah,、uh, Minke has ah、uh, one question on the ah、uh, chat. Talking about island、uh, nation, ah,、uh, international park. Can you see, ah,、uh, Xiao Yi? Oh, okay, yeah. I thought that was more like a comment rather than a, a question. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, 就是呃，呃，就是最近那个 ，sorry, nothing. Yes, carry on. Sorry. Okay, 呃，就是最近那个影集，呃，国际桥牌社。里面就是呃 ，action s u p e r 呃，有一些演员的口音就比较接近，呃，比较接近中国外国人，外呃外省人，对对对，然后是不是，嗯，他们他们哎，嗯，他们的是不是会比较有那个中国？中国的那个身份认同，就比如说，就会啊、uh, ，not quite sure. Uh, maybe be you if you are more. Would you like to? I'm not totally sure. Minke, would you like to come up and and express, uh, you know, explain yourself? It was not really a question. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm so sorry for that because it's just many、yeah. comments. But my question is about there are many Taiwanese actors who may have. Whose family made from mainland China and who can speak like some kind of accent, like very close to Zhejiang or Jiangsu provinces, and they have established career in mainland China. Sometimes they go by Taiwan to、uh, act, act some, I mean, Taiwan、uh, mainland the mainland Chinese figures. For example, in the、uh, TV series like Island Nation One, Season One, Season Two, there are some figures like representing. Mainland Chinese political figures like were employing this kind of actors and to trying to play this certain nationality, Chinese nationality, and well, in fact, there were also like some Taiwanese actors in they cannot be identified as Taiwanese because they speak Mandarin so well, and <laughs> so it, it's a very interesting phenomena. 就是我的问题，我、oh, I can trust myself. 就是我的。呃，这也不太算是个问题，算是一个评价。就是最近的有关于政治的影集，红像是《国际桥牌社》，里面有一些的演员，像是林在培，他在大陆有过一些演艺事业，然后他被安排去演一些比较代表一些大陆话或者是一些外省人的一些的
呃角色，比如说是影射当时的行政院长郝柏村那些角角色，就是我我发现这个是一个非常有趣的一个现象哈，就是有很多的台湾演员他们来到大陆之后，他们有一些演绎的一些一些作品之后，他们有的时候并不会被观众很清晰的认清他们是台湾人，因为他们的口音讲的非常的像这个浙江或者江苏。省的一些口音，对，谢谢。啊，那就是他们的演技真的很好啊，而且其实其实就像以如果让外国观众更能懂的话，就好像一个英格兰或者苏格兰的演员来演呃英格兰的皇室演的非常好的时候，可能大家也会很很很敬佩。可是如果说有有一个要演英国王室的人，可是他的口口音根本就是爱尔兰腔的时候，那大家可能就会不能认同。我觉得其实在，在呃，不只是台湾，在很多的地方，大家都可以很耳朵是很敏锐的东西，一点点就可以阅读出来这个角色、这个口音的身份，或者是来的地方。或者是甚至是他的呃社经地位，这个就是演员的一个挑战。我觉得他那个口音东西，呃，可以让观众不需要很多资讯就知道这个人的背景。那我觉得这是戏剧有趣的地方。嗯，小雪，这个 director Yang was was kind of adding adding to that comment about Uh, accents that um, it it really is an art form because、uh, audiences have very strict ears or very、uh, very detailed. You know they can pick up audiences will pick up on just just those little mistakes which、uh, kind of betray someone's true true origin, as it were. So he's saying, you know, it, it, for example, if a if a Scottish actor. Um, was acting as part of the British royal family, and 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 did it to the point where it's believable. Everyone would certainly heap praise on that particular actor on being able to do it, being able to pull off that、um, that 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 kind of that role,、uh, the accent and and the way it's done because their background is so different. Whereas、um, conversely, you know, if if someone is you were saying if an actor or actress was Trying to act as the British royal, the English royal family, with an Irish accent, and it didn't quite fit, then the audience is not going to believe it, and it's you know it's not it's not going to pass.、Um, so it's it's being able to get those details, and that's the I guess that's what makes actors' job both difficult but also really interesting,、uh, and for a director as well is is being able to capture where you've got all the details. Exactly believable that you can, you know, if you're using people, actors or actresses whose background isn't what they're acting, to make it believable and to to I guess deceive the audience in in some way is a real art form,、uh, and that's what makes you were saying that's what makes movies interesting almost is you know those those、uh, those missions. <laughs> Great.、Uh Shao Yi, I can see there's、uh, two more questions, or um, or just one. Um, 我们只剩下呃十十二分钟，呃，可不可以呃，请邵怡问简短一点，然后导演也麻烦简短一点拍摄。Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, 这位观众想请问一下，呃，电影里面说话的问题，就是。他说，有时候在比方说《囧男孩》里面，有时候会听不清楚呃演员的对话。可是就是呃，比方说其他的比较老的电影，比方说陈呃陈奕迅的《热带鱼》就没有这个问题。是不是年轻世代的口说表现表演方式不一样？那因为比方说在欧洲，呃，德国、法国的电影电视电影通常都没有字幕的，那台湾的都有字幕。就所以不会造成看电影的问题，呃，对，谢谢。哦、uh, ，我我我我自己不喜欢演员的口条，呃，发音太清楚的原因是
呃，我们一般人讲话，台台湾人讲话都很懒，然后不太可能会字正腔圆。那我觉得像穷男孩那个，没有小孩子讲话字正腔圆嘛。如果在台湾的话，所以我我反正有字幕嘛，所以我喜欢他们讲话不标准，反而比较像真的。Um, okay, so just to just to go back to the question for this one, um, the, the the question was asking about uh, speech in in movies, and the example was that in the the ORZ boys, this film is it's not always very clear the the speech of the characters in terms of trying to make out what they're saying,、uh, and so the person was asking, oh, but but you know, in the 1994. Uh, Chen Yuxun's movie of、um, Tropical Fish, the the conversation is much clearer. It's much more audible.、Um, so the person was asking,、uh, is it because in Taiwan movies tend to always have subtitles, and so you don't need conversation to be so clear because it's it's readable, as it were.、Um, and the director was saying actually,、uh, it, if you take Oaz Boys as an example. He, he did it on purpose because he, he he didn't want those kids to to speak too clearly because children don't speak clearly generally、uh, in in Taiwan. He just wanted them to speak as you know real kids do to each other, and and it's it's mumbled, it's fast, it's it's not very clear.、Uh, and actually, actually, that would portray much more of the reality of their situation. And it's really useful to have subtitles because. I can portray them in a very real way. The audience can still read what they're saying if they can't understand it verbally. So,、um, so that, yeah, that was what he was saying in terms of that particular film, the ORZ Boys. Great. We got another question here. Xiao Yi. 对，那这呃，这个观众想问你最喜欢的呃的。现代呃，现在的台湾导演有有哪一位，或者是哪几位？呃、uh, ，Who would be your most favorite favorite contemporary Taiwanese director and and why？ 现在最喜欢的台湾导演，哇，这样子这不是挖坑给我跳吗？那么多导演，<笑>你可以现在最现在最喜欢的台湾导演，我觉得我我很喜欢郑有杰啊。亲爱的房客，这位导演，因为他很细腻，嗯、呃，他很温柔，他比我温柔很多，这从作品里面就看得出来。然后这是我学不来的，嗯，年轻的导演也蛮多的，呃，嗯，那个，想看。突然想不起来名字，这样实在太得罪人。讲郑有杰就好。<笑>还有很多。So in, in terms of、uh, in in terms of directly young favorite directors, he says there's actually、uh, a whole a whole group of great directors now in in Taiwan, Taiwanese young directors.、Uh, but the one he picked out to mention just then, was, maybe you can help me. Be、um, you. What was the name of the director? 郑有杰，郑有杰，郑有。Okay. Uh, and in particular, the Qing Ai the Funker, dear, my dear tenant, dear tenant. I'm not、uh, sure that the formal. The translation, yeah. Yeah. But but what、yeah, what directly I liked about dear tenant,、uh, this particular, or at least the the way that the director shot it was that it was in in. Uh, uh, more of a gentle, more of a soft way.、Uh, yeah. In in a sense, it's what director Yang said. He what he liked about it was he recognised it was something that he couldn't make.、Uh, you know, it was it was telling a story in a way that he he can't do himself, and and that was something which he admires about、um, about this other director. 我觉得很重要的一点是因为呃，郑有杰导演的文化背景跟我们其他同辈的台湾导演不太一样，他的
他受日本文化的影响蛮多的。那小时候也住过日本嘛，我觉得他的那个那个我我跟他之间的文化差异会让我特别喜欢他，因为我可以看到另外一个不同。嗯。So one of the other、uh, one of the other key points about、uh, this younger director Zheng Youjie is that his cultural background is quite different from Director Yang's cultural background.、Um, so, so Director Yang saying actually that's something that's really nice to to watch is is the difference then because of Zheng、uh, Youjie's background. I think he he lived in or grew up in Japan. He's been influenced by Japanese culture. So that's That comes out in his movie making. You know, his movies are very different. Great. We've got a last question. Xiao Yu. Right. So, um, oh, 这位观众想问一下，在天桥上的魔术师最后一段，你有客串那个魔术师的声音？请问这个是有没有什么抑郁的安排？ Wow. <laughs> uh, so you you've provided the voice for um for the magician in 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 the magician and um on the skywalk. So is is there any um any meaning behind this? Is this it? Uh, 其实单纯只是在后置的时候。我忽然觉得，如果那个角色用他自己的声音演出来，观众很快就会发现他就是原来的那个魔术师。所以，呃，技巧性的换成了我的声音，他并没有，我并没有想要当演员。哦。So, uh, so for, for in answer to this question, um. Director Yang was saying, actually, no, it's not. It's not my ambition to become an actor,、uh, but just for the point of production, he didn't. He didn't want the magician's voice to be too recognisable for the final part. So,、uh, so you know, in the final stage of production, he decided that he would use his own voice for that last part.、Uh, I guess, kind of to disguise, disguise who it really was, and not let the audience. In on the secret too easily. 我，所以最后，最后我想要问观众一个问题，但是他们不一定要回答我，或者是有有一天我们在网络遇见的话，他可以回答我。我在想说，为什么亚洲人的爱情总是会遇到比较痛苦的事，然后欧洲的。电影里面的现代的人的爱情都比较不痛苦，你们谈恋爱真的比较不痛苦吗？<笑>我听起来像一个偏见，但但我觉得这是一个很有趣的文化比较啦，就是呃，欧洲或者是美国里面的恋爱故事的痛苦的成分都比较少，或者是痛苦的事情发生了。总是会很快过去，但亚洲电影或者是我们的电影，痛苦持续的会比较久。可能我们就是热爱那个痛苦吧。<笑>谢谢大家今天。Then <笑> Director Yang's final question for for the audience, uh, is on the theme of uh love and relationships, and why is it that in in Asian films, uh, relationship pain. Seems to be such a strong theme,、uh, whereas in European films, it seems like relationships are, you know, even if something bad happens, it is over quite quickly, and the person gets over it quite quickly. Whereas in Asian films, people get get stuck in this pain of being hurt by their boyfriend or girlfriend or or partner.、Uh, and is it true? He's saying, is that true to reality? Are are relationships in in Europe or in America are they easier? Less painful than in Asia, or is it just in Asia that we love pain and we like to dwell on the pain? Can any of you have a band of girls, like Adele? She will sing "Never, Never Mind." I, I find someone like you. We don't have such girls. I urge everyone not to be so painful. He says maybe because in Asia we don't have,、uh, we don't have singers like Adele who can.
can just say, never mind, I'll find someone else like you. Yeah. Okay. Session. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Um, it's a, uh, on that note, it, you know, it's such a fitting uh, 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 ending because uh, Director Yang will keep on seeking his question, uh, you know, uh, for love and, and the expression of love. So thank you all for taking part in today's Q, uh, Q and session. Before you go, uh, may I ask you again to switch on your microphone and camera to give him a round of applause. Uh, should we? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.